Hey guys, welcome back for another weekly update video. Had some awesome products arrive this week, including the brand new 1.2 meter up Terra from E-Flight. Let's get into it and show you what we've got. Many of you may be familiar with the Optera name. Uh, the Optera 1.2 meter, which is a brand new aircraft from E-Flight, is a smaller version of the big 2 meter Optera. Now, with this smaller version, there's a few features that they've managed to add in um, whilst providing a smaller air airframe, which results in a more sporty aircraft. Uh, this aircraft is 3 and 4S compatible, so you have a wide range of battery to choice from 2200 all the way up to 3200 in both 3 and 4 cell. Um, that'll fit right into the massive compartment this has for the battery hatch. Like I said, this is a much smaller aircraft, smaller wingspan, quicker roll rate, um, but still has a lot of the features from the bigger aircraft, like the quick disassembly. So even though it's a 1.2 meter aircraft, you can pop both wing sides off. There is no screws, uh, no tool required assembly. So it is literally slide on, uh, they lock in, and even the servo plugs are hard mounted and they lock in as well. Um, so nice and easy if you have a small car, have this one in the back of the car, be able to go out and fly to a multitude of um, locations without it taking up a lot of space. One of the neat features with this is they've put provisions in for you to fly it with FPV gear and recording cameras. So right up the front, they have a nice little snap lock hatch, which is um, locates in and then has some magnets. Uh, you could lay a GoPro style camera on the top there for um, HD video recording of your flights. And it also has a nose cone, so which has a, quite a large magnet in there, um, which is partly to do with some um, weight issues. So putting a bit of weight up front helps the CAG without you running a camera. Uh, but if you do want to run a camera, you have the option for an uh, extra nose cone and you can fit your FPV gear in there. Um, they do have provisions inside the hatch as well to fit all of your video transmitting devices. So a really versatile aircraft, one that will allow you to fly at line of sight, a bit of FPV, can record if you like, folds up nice and easy, wide battery choice. So most of you pilots out there will probably have um, a battery within that 22 to 3200 range in a 3 or 4S laying around, fit straight in this aircraft. It does come in two versions. Uh, this is the bind and fly. So you can bind it to any spectrum transmitter. Um, you will require the battery, which I've mentioned, and a charger for that battery, and then also a plug and play version. Uh, the plug and play version comes with no receiver. So you'll need to add a receiver of your choice. Um, and the only real functions you lose with that is you lose your AS3X and your safe select. So the AS3X and safe select features are um, part and parcel of the spectrum receiver that's included in the bind and fly unit. So you do have your safe select, you can choose to turn that on or off, and you have your AS3X. So the gyro stabilization is gonna make the wing fly fantastically in high wind and high turbulence conditions. All in all, a really great product, exciting release uh, from E-Fly and a wing that should be really versatile and suit a wide range of pilots. <laughs> The GB aircraft is quite a common airframe that most aeromodelers and aviation enthusiasts would be able to associate with. Uh, you've probably seen one of these flying around, whether it's in real life, photos, or a model aircraft at the field. Uh, E-Flight have released the uh, revised version of this in a UMX style. Uh, so it is an ultra micro. It is made for uh, really indoor flying, outdoor flying on a very calm day. Uh, what they've added to this though is safe select. So um, giving you not only a new power plant system that will run a 2S LiPo, so a 200 to 280 milliamp 2S LiPo, um, but you also get your AS3X and your Safe Select. So for those beginner pilots who maybe aren't feeling so confident, you do have the optional safe feature to take advantage of. This will help you um, basically get in the air and feel more confident that the Safe Select has your back if something goes wrong um, and you can recover and not lose an aircraft. So it's a really great feature, especially on a small ultra micro aircraft like this where you might be flying indoors um, that little extra security is going to make you feel real comfortable. E-Flight have released this brand new F6F Hellcat, and this is a 15cc and an ARF. Uh, the scale of detail that they've managed to get into this is really impressive for an aircraft this size. It's not too large that you need a, a crazy van or a car to get it around to the airfield, and it's also not too small that it's a you know standard one meter size wingspan. So um, the good thing about this aircraft is the flexibility that it affords you. Um, whilst it looks scale and has a lot of detail, it's not terribly complex from the electronic side of things. This can be flown on a standard six channel radio using standard size servos. Um, so that is a fantastic thing for modelers, you don't have to buy high voltage servos or, or micros or anything like that. It's a standard hardware, standard servos on a six channel radio. Um, you are also afforded the opportunity to choose whether it's electric or 
um, gas powered. Uh, so this will take a 15cc uh, gas engine like the Evolution 15GX, um, or you could go with a Power 60 um, brushless motor from E-Flight. So you could choose to power it with electric um, or gas. Like I said, it is, it is an RF, so you will need to select your uh, power plant of choice, whether that be uh, electric um, or gas and then your servos and radio gear to suit. Um, the aircraft does come pre-covered, a little bit of assembly is required, um, but you can have this flying in no time at all. Show up at the field and have a beautiful scale aircraft to, uh, to fly that won't break the bank. The Trojan is a fantastic aircraft to step up to from your first model aircraft. So if you have an apprentice or a trainer style aircraft and you wanna to move to something low wing, a little bit more sporty, a little bit quicker, uh, the Trojan is a very popular platform for doing that. And there has been many of these um, in a lot of different sizes released. Uh, this 1.1 meter version from Park Zone uh, is a fresh arrival for us. Uh, this does encompass um, Safe Select again and AS3X. So in the BNF version, where you add a spectrum radio system, a battery and a charger, uh, you will be able to add um, or take advantage of the AS3X and Safe systems that the receiver has inside of it. Um, as always, we do have two options. This is actually the plug and play version. So if you do have a different radio system, maybe not a spectrum system, uh, you could install your receiver into this aircraft and go flying as normal. This does take a very standard battery, 2200 three cell, um, and the flying characteristics of this aircraft are quite docile, which makes it a perfect uh, transition aircraft from your, from your first trainer. Uh, so a really good aircraft, very popular, flies really nice, and a great option if you're looking for a second model. Charisma produced some fantastic ready to runs all the way from micro cars up to rock crawlers, and even dabbled in some race kits. Uh, the GT24R is a new release, some of you may be familiar with the GT24B, which is a 124 scale buggy that Charisma did for a long while there. That was a super popular car and for great reason. It was brushless, four wheel drive, ready to run, took a 1S LiPo, you could upgrade it to 2S, um, and overall was a fantastic package in a micro car. This GT24R is much the same. Uh, obviously there's some major differences in the styling. It's a rally style car, um, some pin tread tires, uh, that will work on dirt and also um, multi-terrain surfaces, so asphalt, tiles, things like that. Uh, it still does come as a full ready to run with a battery. Uh, the charger is a USB style charger, so you can plug it into a computer or a power pack for a phone charger, will work just fine. Uh, one of the neat features on this and one of my favorite features about it is even though it's a micro car, it does come with a full size transmitter. So some of the micro cars come with a very small one. Uh, that's fantastic for kids, uh, it fits their hand, it's nice and small, but when adults wanna have a play, uh, it's a little bit small of a transmitter. So this full size transmitter does give you that feel of driving a proper car. Um, and a neat feature that they've included for the, for the younger drivers is a throttle limiter. Now this is just tied on there, we've just pulled it out the box, but it's essentially a rubber limiter that you fit over the trigger. This reduces throttle travel by 30%. So you're essentially slowing the car down to 70% of what it could do. Um, that's great if you have it for a kid and a, as a present, it's their first car, don't have to smash it, up, smash it up straight away, you can reduce the power a little bit, let them get used to it, and then you can slip that rubber limiter off and uh, everyone can enjoy the full power of the car. Uh, it is brushless, it is an 8000 kV brushless motor, um, so they actually do go really, really well. So really excited about this car. Um, keep an eye on a channel for a video on this. Um, but really, really cool release from Charisma. Rage RC have produced a number of unique items. Uh, one of those is definitely this brand new spinner missile from Rage RC. Now this isn't RC so much, um, as it is just a fun toy. It's made of uh, very durable memory foam. Um, so really smashing it into things and, and hitting the ground, which is what it's gonna be doing, is not gonna damage it. Um, essentially what it is, is it's a rocket with a base stand. Um, you select two power levels, depending on how long you hold the power switch down for, and that's the two height levels that the rocket will fly to. So something fun, especially for the kids, it's nice and safe, the propeller is nice and flexible, it's not gonna damage or, or cut someone, um, and something that kids could play with for hours. Uh, without breaking. So a really, really cool idea from Rage RC and uh, it's been a lot of fun around the office to use. So uh, I suggest you go to the website and check it out. Thanks for joining us again today, guys, uh, to check out some of the really cool product we've had arrive uh, in the last week or so. Um, it has been a little while between videos. We here at Modelfly have been very busy launching our brand new websites as well as some other, other projects going around. So uh, thanks for your patience. I appreciate you joining us each and every week and we we'll, uh, should be moving forward with the videos as normal from this point onwards. If you do have, want to know any more information of any of the products that we've covered today, uh, the links will be in the description below. Jump on the website, check them out. I'm Andrew from Modelflight, see you next week.